Hey guys, Anastasia here. There's this phrase that I've recently become familiar with that I actually really love. A very wise person who has since now um, become a good friend of mine said it to me and uses it kind of as their language. It's sort of an ism, a thing that they say a lot. I find it to be a very beautiful expression and it's it's call your spirit back. But let me explain why I think it's a really cool expression. Well, oftentimes I, and I think this is especially true to anybody who's pursuing a creative or artistic path, um, we tend to be so emotionally invested in certain aspects of our life or in certain people that we care about we just tend to be a little bit more of the sensitive soul, if you will, which is why I guess, you know, we are creators, why we can go into the land of make-believe and access those parts of ourselves because we have a different way of seeing the world and it's, um, it's a very observant, attention to detail kind of way of interacting with the world. So the consequence of that is feeling a lot deeper. So oftentimes we, we send our spirit out. That's, that's, really, that's really what it boils down to. We tend to give away parts of ourselves to invest in something. And we do it unwittingly. Sometimes we do it and we are not even aware that we're doing it. Then there's nothing left over in the reserves for us, for us to get that creative spark or to get that creative spirit. And I think that part of mastering or being a master of something, I think the most important thing to master first is oneself, you know, is really mastering your own emotions, mastering your own balance in your life. And I think a lot of artists and actors and musicians and painters, and you know, a lot of people crash and burn because they don't know how to deal with all of that that they have accessible to them, which is a beautiful thing. But it also needs to have a, a degree of discernment in order to, to live with that much passion and intensity. You have to have an equal amount of discernment. I can tell you that that's what I strive to do in my life. I mean, I, I'm always looking to try to improve myself and master myself because I think that that's the greatest achievement is to try to really know yourself and have a really tremendous amount of awareness because when you have awareness, then you can shift things, you know, for the better. This concept of calling your spirit back, to me, it, it really is about when have you sent out so much of yourself that there's nothing left for you which is an unhealthy state. And when is it time when you're in a situation, either in a relationship with somebody or in a certain situation in relationship to people at work or through your career, when is it that you, you need to call your spirit back to you? You need to call it back. They've had it long enough. They've had that special part of you. It's a part of your energy. And, and now it's time to bring it back, right? After you watch this video, sit down and think, like, is there any part of you that you've sent out into the world with a s tremendous amount of investment or intensity or passion or love or whatever it may be, and you're not getting filled by it anymore? It's not, it's not returning the investment right? Then you have to call it back. Like you call back your, your fur child, your animal, your little pet, you know, call it back, make it come home, <laughs> go out to the door and Hey, come back spirit. Come back little Sheba. I mean, that's really what it boils down to knowing when to draw everything back to the source, which is you and reorganize, recompile, rebalance, regenerate. Um, just give yourself love 
and give yourself what you need. If you're feeling depleted, if you're feeling like there's a situation that is just beyond working, can you call your spirit back so that you have that energy back in your reserve so that you can invest it wisely again in something new, something from you, something that is the most important thing, which is yourself. And when you have those stores, those reserves filled up within you, then that's when great creativity can happen again. So call your spirit back and let me know how it goes. Okay? All right. Bye.